Okay, that's funny. Nicholas didn't go back to Windermere, and he's not answering his cell. You're worried. Yeah, he's been off lately, you guys. He's all secretive and mysterious. I mean, look how he missed his appointment with you. And he literally stops talking every time I walk into the room. It's not like him to just drop out of sight. No call, no nothing. Can't imagine what's going on with him. Carly, Carly, call 911. Yes, um, can you please send an ambulance to 607 Bradenwood Terrace? It's my nanny. She's dead. When did you find her? Less than 10 minutes ago. She was right there on the floor with the telephone cord wrapped around her neck. Is this your house? Yes, I'm Carly Carnthos Jacks. That was Leticia Juarez. She was our nanny. And you weren't home at the time? No, I was at the Metro Court. Were your children here? They're with their father. We were coming here to pick up Leticia and take her over there. And you're Jason Morgan. How soon do I can call her family? Not just yet. I need you to tell me who'd want Leticia dead. The Nicholas had a business emergency. Or maybe he just forgot like he was meeting him. All right, all right, I, I suppose Steve. you're right. I mean, as I said, he's yeah. been very distracted lately, but I know how much he wanted to meet the four of us for dinner, Elizabeth, and why is his cell phone off? Emily, stop, okay. I'm sure he's yeah. fine. I'll be there as soon as I can. That was work. Carla's nanny, Leticia, was found strangled tonight. Leticia? Yeah. What happened? I won't know until I get there. I'll be home as soon as I can. Sorry, I'm late. I guess in work. He'll fill you in. Hey, I'm so relieved to see you. What? Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so obviously something's wrong here. What happened? Leticia was here packing up the boys' things. We called her from the hotel to tell her we were going to be stopping by to pick her up on the way to Sunny's. What time was that? 7.30, maybe 7.15. Where's your husband at? He's out of town. I've left messages, but I can't get in touch with him. It's official. Leticia was pronounced dead at General Hospital. I'm sorry. How am I supposed to tell the boys that? How long was Leticia in your employ? Jason hired her when Michael was about a month old. With all the craziness the boys have been through, she's been the one constant. I gotta get to my boys I understand, now. but we're dealing with murder. Matt, she needs to see her kids. You need to get this down while it's still fresh in her mind. Okay, just let me take her to Sonny's. I'll come back. I'll tell you everything you need to know. So where were you? And Lucky and I just missed each other, so I headed right over here. It was just a matter of bad timing, that's all. I'm gonna start the barbecue, try to salvage dinner. All right, that sounds good. <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to stick around and see what Lucky finds out. Okay, this is poor Michael. He's gonna be devastated when he finds out about Leticia. I mean, Morgan, too, but he was so attached to her. I know. Things like this make me want to just put those babies in a cocoon and never let them out. Nicholas, Cameron knows mm -hmm. you're here. He's really excited to see you. Can you go up? Yeah, of course. Thanks. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna get dinner started. Hey, are you okay? Hey. Hey. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi. How are you guys? Good? Yeah. Okay, kids? Yeah? Go show you, go, uh, show Kate your play. Yeah, come, play. come, come. I've never seen um, it. Will you show me where it is? Uh, all right. I'm assuming it's up the stairs, and I bet you have very expensive toys up there. Yeah. yeah. Come on. What happened? Leticia's dead. We found her in Carly's house. How? What? What? How? She was strangled. They're sending us a message. The victim was strangled with a phone cord. 
Well, Dustin, for Prince, she was alone. No one saw anything. She was DOA. Carly and Jason Morgan tried to give her CPR, but it was too late. Or well, Carly and Jason being questioned at the PCPD? I let Jason take Carly to Sonny's. <clears throat> because he's such a stand-up guy? Why does Morgan always get special treatment? Carly already told me like, everything she knows. That's good. Now it's your turn. I, I just... I had to run upstairs and hug my boys. No, I get it. You can't help but worry about them. Sit down. There's this mobster from New York City, Anthony Zakara. Supposedly, he's going up against Jason and Sonny. Sam said he likes to target people closest to his enemies. What if this Zakara killed Letitia just because she watches Sonny's kids? Oh, you can't jump to conclusions like that. Okay, but it's public knowledge that Jason jumped bail to find Jake. What if that makes him a target? Look, if it'll help you sleep at night, um, Jason can put some men outside of your home. No, no. No, Lucky will protect us. God, I just feel so bad for Sonny and Carly. I mean, even with all the precautions they take, it must be terrifying knowing that their children are always vulnerable. Simply because of who their father is. Letitia was packing up the boys' stuff because they were going to stay at their father's. Carly and I stopped by to give her a ride. And I thought I saw something as we approached the house. What was it? I don't know, a shadow, some type of movement. I stopped to take a look. I sent Carly inside. That's when she found the table. So you didn't see anything out there? No. What did you see when you came in the living room? Uh, Letitia was on the ground, right over there with the phone cord wrapped around her neck. No pulse. I told Carly to call 911. Who removed the cord from her neck? Uh, I think Carly might have. How was their relationship? What's that supposed to mean? Was there any disagreements Carly and Letitia might have had recently? <laughs> okay, listen, Carly was with me this evening. She didn't kill Letitia. Did Letitia have any enemies? Anyone that might have done something like this? Ask Trevor Lansing. Thanks for staying. Maybe next week we can actually do this with all four of us. <laughs> Again, please tell Lucky I'm sorry about the mix-up and to call me tomorrow because I still want him to come by and see the new office. I'll tell him. Listen, I still don't feel right leaving you here alone. What happened with Letitia has made me really nervous. We're gonna be fine. We'll stay if you want us to. No, no, you guys go back to Spencer. Lucky we'll be home soon. Okay? We'll I'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks for Bye. coming. Bye, Amy. Bye. Trevor Lansing is Rick's father. He's chief attorney for Anthony Zakara. The New York mob boss? Yeah. And Trevor claims that he's here to visit his son, his old friend Kate Howard, but we know that he's scouting Port Charles for Zakara. Well, even if Zakara wants to move here, how does that equate with a dead nanny? Because Zakara has a history of coming at his rivals by terrorizing their families. Look, I assume Sonny's got guards protecting yeah. his family. I'll cover him with some police Thank details. You. Is there anyone you want protected? No, no one. What about Sam? Someone there? 